Good morning, welcome to my laboratory. Uh, here's a, a quick and easy way to test uh, Zener diodes and identify their voltage ratings. Um, I've been playing with a bunch of random Zeners that I've been pulling out of used television chassis. But this is not a random Zener, this is an actual brand new 12 volt Zener diode right there. And uh, that's a regular ordinary green LED, and that's a voltmeter. And that is a little current limiting power supply. And I've got the current limit set to 25 milliamps. And the voltage range to 30 volts DC. Uh, you could also use something like a constant current power supply down there uh, if you know how to set the current limit. So you set the current limit to the current that you want to, that will light up this little LED here brightly. Uh, 20 or 25 milliamps. Uh, like I said, I have the current limit set uh, on the little HP power supply there, or you can set your current limit to 20 milliamps or 25 milliamps on a current limiting power supply, constant current power supply. Okay, and then you have the voltmeter hooked up uh, across the diode that you're testing. As you can see, I've got it in there. So the power comes from the power supply, positive, the diode is installed in the reverse, the zener is installed in the reverse bias direction. You can see I've got the cathode towards the plus of the power supply. Uh, the voltmeter is across the diode and then the LED is in series with the zener under test uh, in the normally biased direction for the LED. Okay, so now you just slowly turn up the voltage on your power source You look at the voltmeter, and then when you got your LED glowing brightly, the current limit kicks in on the power supply, and the voltmeter should indicate very close to the correct Zener voltage of the diode you're trying to test. And what you're seeing there is the result of the current limiting in that little HP power supply kicking in and out. So you just go ahead and crank the voltage right on up, and as you can see now I've got an indicated voltage of 11.91 volts. So it's pretty safe to say that that Zener diode is uh, an 11.9 or 12 volt Zener diode. Now if you look on the specs of the Zener diode you can determine the actual current that they use through the diode to determine its Zener voltage and then you can use that voltage, or rather that current in your current limiting power supply to uh, get a, a more, even more accurate reading of the Zener voltage of the diode. All right. Thanks for watching. Testing a Zener diode with an LED, a voltmeter, and a constant current power supply.